A few books of mine have very nearly not come into existence. I'm going to show you one of those now in this session. A picture book commission that I initially dismissed. In fact, I totally shied away from it. It was only when the publisher kept badgering me that I eventually accepted the idea, or at least my version of the idea, and got on with creating the book. Hello, I'm John Heffnan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The book I'm referring to is called Two Summers, and it has been a ripper for me still published almost 20 years later with exquisite illustrations by Freya Blackwood. It has won awards, it's been a great seller, and maybe most importantly, it has generated a huge raft of emails from readers, both young and old. So why did I initially run a mile? <laughs> well, because in the beginning, the publisher wanted a picture book about drought. Yeah, drought one of nature's most lethal and, and destructive forces. I knew all about drought, having been a farmer for most of my life. I've, I've been through droughts, especially one that dragged on for years and was utterly devastating, financially, socially, physically, psychologically, emotionally. You know, so there was really no way I, I was going to do a picture book about that monster. I didn't want to go anywhere near those memories. But then it hit me. How to make this story work. Actually, two things hit me. The first thing was think young. All I had to do was see the whole thing through young eyes and suddenly all that serious stuff would evaporate into the background. The second thing that hit me? Think big. Make the book a much broader portrait of farm life. Don't just focus on the downside of a drought shriveled season, but celebrate the upside as well with a wonderfully wet and green season. Two summers. Two sides that together would tell a much bigger, much better story. So that is what this book does. The narrator is a farm kid. He's waiting for his city friend Rick to come and stay again. Rick came last year when the farm was wet and green and everything looked just fabulous. This year the place looks real crook. Uh, bone dry, dams empty, river just a trickle, no grass, sheep and cattle thin and hungry. But the farm kid is thinking about all the things he can do to make sure that his city mate will have the best time possible. <laughs> Make no mistake, this book definitely touches on serious issues. Our young narrator is fully aware of the stark realities of drought, like, like lack of water and feed, uh, environmental damage, even death, but he is not overwhelmed by them. For him, it's all part of farm life, just like the wet year was. And it is through him that we too come to see it in that way. I hope you find something special in this book. Two Summers, written by John Hefnan, illustrated by Freya Blackwood. Rick is coming to stay again. It takes him seven hours on the train from the city. He's staying for a whole week. Last year, I showed him how to ride a motorbike. He bent the handlebars once and nearly broke his arm when he crashed it in a wombat hole. But by the end, he could jump logs and scramble up muddy hills. On his last day, he even beat me home. He wasn't so good on a horse, though. I don't know how many times he fell off Sparky. I showed him the eagle's nest. She's a giant, that bird. I told Rick to be careful, but he wanted to touch those eggs more than anything. I knew she'd come back. Last summer, we went swimming almost every day in the big dam where Dad keeps his old boat. We tried fishing, 
but Rick wanted to see how far he could rock the boat before it tipped. After that, we swam in the river. There's a deep bit near the house. That's what Rick will miss most this year, the river. But we can still have mud fights in the dam. Dad says Rick will be in for a bit of a shock. We'll still take him mustering. Rick loved mustering last year, especially when we had to make the cattle cross the river. He managed to stay on Sparky the whole time. Oh, we'll make a stockman out of you yet, mate, Dad said. I don't think we'll have much trouble at the river this year. Dad says we'll have to get rid of some more cows, maybe some sheep too. Rick can help feed the rest. We feed all the time now. There are lots of poddies. Ewes just walked away from their lambs this year. Foxes and crows took some. Mum and I grabbed the rest. We feed them two or three times a day. We've got potty calves too. Their mums died, so now I'm their mum. Rick can be too if he wants. We'll have to help Dad with the heifers. Last year we rode round the heifers twice a day to check if they were in trouble. Dad had to pull three or four calves. Rick had never seen a calf get born that way. Last year the heifers were too fat, Dad said. That's why some had trouble. They aren't too fat this year. There'll be branding to do as well. And landmarking for sure. Dad says we'll keep Rick so busy he won't have time to notice how crook the place looks. And who knows, he might even bring some rain. <laughs>